What up nomads? In this video, I'll be sharing my review and a comparison of two of the internet's favorite direct-to-consumer luggage brands, Monos and Away. Let's go. I currently own two Away suitcases, the large carry-on and the medium checked bag. I also have the Mono suitcase in the medium checked size. Now I don't own any of the Monos carry-on size luggage, so my comparison to date will be of the two medium sizes for the most accurate and fair side-by-side -side comparison. But if you're looking to buy the carry-on luggage or just curious about the main differences of the products made by each company, here's a quick summary. Monos offers six different types of carry-ons from the smallest size simple carry-on to the plus, which is slightly larger and the Pro, which includes the front pocket, as well as the aluminum casing hybrid line. Monos also makes several more bags, interior organizers, and more travel accessories. Likewise, Away has several carry-on size models. The smallest is the carry-on, then the larger carry-on, the flex, and aluminum models. Also, there are some models with pockets, just like Monos. Away obviously also has a ton of other products like interior organizers and small leather goods. Okay, back to our side-by-side -side comparison. Let's start with the basics. Size. Monos' exterior measurements are 26.5 inches high, 18.5 wide, and 10.5 inches in depth. And these measurements include wheels and fixed handles. The interior measurements are 24.4 inches times 17.7 .7 inches. The weight empty is 9.59 pounds, and the capacity is 70 liters. Just for comparison, the volume of a carry-on is about 40 liters. For away, the measurements also include wheels. The exterior measurements are 26 inches high, times 18.5 inches wide, times 11 inches in depth. Interior measurements are 24 inches by 17.5. Weight is 9.9 .9 pounds, and the capacity is measured at 68.8 liters. So if we compare, the Monos is slightly taller, the same width, and ever so slightly narrower in depth. Plus, something about the way the inside is designed gives it a bit more room while being a little bit lighter than the Away. But in general, these measurements come pretty darn close to each other. The price. The Mono suitcase retails for 322 USD or 390 Canadian, although I've rarely not seen these on sale, so I do recommend waiting for a sale on their website. The Mono's medium check bag comes in eight colors, plus a few limited edition ones. The Away medium check bag is 345 USD, with some occasional sales. It comes with nine colors, and a few times a year, there are limited edition colors, which are usually part of a collaboration. If you're watching this video, you're probably in the market for a new suitcase, and I want to introduce you to a new brand I just discovered, Level 8. The kind people of Level 8 sent me their medium 26-inch Voyageur checked bag so I could inspect it, review it, and compare it to the Monos NOA. This bag has a whopping 93-liter capacity, thanks to its slightly larger dimensions of 27.3 inches high, 17.1 inches wide, and 13.3 inches in depth. It retails for $269.99 USD, so it's definitely the most affordable compared to Monos and Away. The Voyager series comes in three checked sizes, 24 inches, 26, and 28 inches. And the 28 inch one features an extra handle, so it's easy to get your bag off the luggage carousel. This model also comes in four colors. As you can see, the biggest differentiator about this bag is the handle. The wide handle is made with aluminum alloy and the wide placement needs more room in your bag because you don't have the telescopic casing right down the middle of one side of your bag. I found this makes packing with packing cubes just that much easier because everything lays flatter. I also love this yellow color so I can easily spot it at baggage claim. The details of this luggage rival Away and Monos with its German polycarbonate exterior, TSA approved zipper and lock, flat covered zipper seams, and interior pockets. On the inside, there are a few cool features. One I really like is that there are two pockets on this side. 
one designed entirely for wet or damp clothes so you can really separate out your laundry while traveling or you can even toss in a wet bathing suit for that last minute swim in the ocean before going home. The level eight suitcases use the same industry standard style of 360 quiet smooth wheels and this suitcase is super smooth. Overall, I was pretty impressed and I'm definitely going to use this as a checked bag on my longer trips because of its generous capacity, its cool telescopic handle and robust exterior. They also have some really affordable aluminum suitcases that I have my eye on and one model that's got a 60s style that's also super cute and I haven't really seen anything like that on the market. So make sure you take a look at level eight suitcases and get 10% off with code Andrea10 on any item. I'll leave all the details in the description below. All right, back to our video. Now let's get into the specific features and construction. The body. Let's compare the outer shell first. According to their website description, the Monos shell is aerospace grade, water resistant, German polycarbonate hard shell, while the Away just lists it as durable polycarbonate hard shell. But we can assume the difference is just product copywriting, not actually better or lower quality. Aesthetically, you can see a difference in the two models, like the number of ridges and the angles of the corners, but these are really minor in the grand scheme. They both have a pretty smooth and matte finish. The logo is slightly more subtle on the Away, but neither is overly branded. The wheels. Monos and Away both use Hinamoto Lysoff Silent Run 360 degree wheels, which are so smooth. I don't feel a difference in how these two suitcases roll on hardwood floor, carpet, or laminate. Handle. Monos and Away have slight differences with their handles. The design is a little different with the Monos button being on the bottom, which actually feels a little more ergonomic compared to the Away with the button on the top. Even if the Monos handle feels a bit more plasticky. Monos has four height settings, while Away only has two, but the height of the fully extended handle is pretty similar. The Monos handle feels a tad sturdier when it's fully extended, but both do a good job when pushing or pulling the suitcase along. Exterior zipper. The exterior zipper is where these two models visibly differ. On one hand, the Monos uses fake leather, which clever copywriters call ultra microfiber vegan leather, while Away uses real leather. Apart from durability, real leather it just gives it a more luxurious feel, but also raises the price tag. But where Monos wins out is that their zipper stitching is totally hidden. This just gives a cleaner look and feels like it will wear better over time. That being said, I've put my Away carry-on through the ringer and the zipper seam really hasn't shown any signs of wear. So my perception of it being weaker is just that, perception. But I did wonder how the design affected water resistance. So I did a test where I taped a paper inside the suitcase right under the zipper and poured water on the zipper. Admittedly, this is not a super scientific test and the conditions may have varied slightly between the two, but you could see that the Monos paper is completely dry and the Away one did get a couple of drops on it. Both zippers are YKK high quality zippers, but Monos wins out on aesthetics, not only for the hidden seam design, but because they decided to match that to the color of the suitcase. You can see on the website how each color looks, while the Away always has the high contrast black zipper. Honestly, this is really just a detail, but I thought I'd mention it. Both suitcases use a TSA approved lock and I found both super easy to set a custom combination. The main difference, as you can see, is that Away has theirs on the top and Monos is on the side. When entering your code, it is a bit easier to do on the Away because it's right in your face but I like that the Monos, the top is smooth, so you can put a bag on top and it sits flat. The other detail I wanna mention is that when the zipper tabs are locked, there is a small gap on the Away. So with this Away lock being on top, if it were raining, you could potentially have a bit of water seep in. Both suitcases have two handles on the outside, one on top and one on the side. And the other side has rubber feet. Now I don't own one of these, but Away has a version of their medium sized suitcase called the Flex that expands to offer a bit more room, has a handle on the bottom, 
and has tapered seams just like Monos. Not only that, but it also allows you to unzip the lining. These are pretty nice little upgrades, so if you are shopping for a new Away suitcase, keep this model in mind, because it seems like it's got a lot of extra features that the original doesn't. Okay, now let's open these up. As you can see, both suitcases open pretty much right down the middle, meaning each side of the clamshell is the same size. As far as the interior organization, Monos has a bit more going on with two pockets on the compression pad and one pocket on the zipped side. But the compression straps don't cross all the way over, which means a little less tension overall. I've seen though that the carry-on model does have straps that cross over and they run from the top to bottom instead of across the width like away. Monos advertises its interior fabric as antimicrobial and I'm not sure what fabric they are using, but I imagine it's some form of polyester and bacteria just doesn't stick to it, which is also true for the away. They just don't include that in their copywriting. To the touch, I can't tell a big difference between the two fabrics. Visually, one is printed, one isn't, but that's really just aesthetics again. On the compression side of the away, there's this tubing that runs around the exterior of the compression pad to give it a stiffer composition. Extras. The away came with a leather luggage tag and a laundry bag with a zipper that snaps into the suitcase. The Mono came with a few extra bags, but they have drawstrings instead of zippers. More bags with Monos, but less high quality since the zipper does kind of make a difference. Monos suitcase also came with a luggage tag, but again, it's fake leather like the exterior details. If you're a super strict vegan, then this is probably a great option. Both suitcases do come in a cotton dust bag, and while these weren't useful in any way to me, I'll mention that the Away one was a slightly higher quality cotton. Warranty. The Away offers 100 days to test with easy returns. Their suitcases are guaranteed by a limited lifetime warranty that covers any damage to the shell, wheels, handles, zippers, and many other functional elements of their luggage. Keep in mind that personalized items cannot be returned or exchanged, but they are still covered by the warranties. From what I could tell, the warranty for Monos is essentially identical. 100 day trial, replacements or fixes for parts, and lifetime warranty. Now I haven't had the Monos suitcase long enough to contact support, but a few years ago I did contact Away's support for my carry-on. My hair had gunked up one of the wheels so bad the suitcase didn't roll well anymore. But this isn't unique to Away, this also happened with my office chair at home. It's a known issue in my house. Anyway, contacted support. They sent me a prepaid box scheduled to pick up. I sent it in and two weeks later, my suitcase came back with a new set of wheels. When purchasing the medium sized suitcase, shipping for both suitcases was super quick to my house and it was free. And as a Canadian, I didn't have to pay any duties, which I know is always a concern for us. So which one of these wins out? I'm actually a huge fan of my Away gear. I have a lot of other articles from them, so I would never badmouth this brand. It stood up to some pretty incredible wear and tear over the years, and their customer service and commitment to sustainability with repairable and replaceable parts is great. Plus, if you ask me, the Flex Medium Suitcase with its expandable middle and extra handle on the bottom might be the better option over the basic medium-sized check bag of either brand. That being said, Monos is a pretty solid suitcase with lots of smart design features that beat out away in detail, like the telescopic handle and flat seams. If you're sensitive to price though, Monos is just a better deal. They have tons of sales and extra discounts on the less popular colors, like white, which I got on super sale, because obviously white gets dirty, but I kind of embrace this well-traveled look. So while comparable, I think price really is the biggest differentiator. So I'll leave it up to you to decide which suitcase checks off all of your boxes. Leave a comment below if you have more questions or if you wanna share your favorite suitcase brand. I'll leave links in the description box for all of these models, plus a few suggestions if you're on a tighter budget. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Happy travels. Thanks for watching this video until the end. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the Capsule Suitcase and turn on notifications so you get all the fresh content as soon as it comes out. Thanks for supporting this channel. Happy travels.